What's up guys, your boy Kaiser. So in this episode of my Road to Max Town Online series, I want to go over a couple upgrades I want to be doing to my Town Hall 9 base. So first of all, I have almost all of my mortars up to max. My last one will be done in a couple of hours, and now I want to get my third wizard tower up to level 7. So this wizard tower is now going to be maxed out. All I have left now is my fourth one. I'm going to be getting that done within the next couple of days. So hopefully with that, I will have all my splash defense completely 100% done. But next thing I'm worried about is getting my Archer Queen up to level 10. So I'm actually going to gem her in this episode just for you guys. I really... I've been wanting this Archer Queen to level 10. Having a level 10 hero is really cool because then you get their next level, you know, their special ability. Like the Barbarian King has his Iron Fist ability and the Archer Queen has a Royal Cloak ability. So we're going to gem it right here. It's going to cost me $8 in gems. Honestly, I didn't really cringe that much because I knew this is what I wanted. So I knew it was well worth the price that I paid in gems. So reason why we're going for this is the royal cloak ability on her level 2 royal cloak ability is going to be a lot more potent in terms of damage how long it lasts amount of archers it spawns and it's just going to do so much damage and it's going to be absolutely amazing after all this is done I'm basically what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be working on my expos to level 3. It's going to cost 7 million gold per expo, but it's well worth it because once those expos are level 3, all you really have to worry about then is the air defense, archer towers, and cannons, and then your town on mine is going to be one step closer to being completely maxed out. The big issue is going for the walls. So going into this next raid, as you notice, I am basically going into this raid by eliminating the laboratory on top, and now what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be kind of you know, sending in my balloons little by little to eliminate all the defenses that are in my way. So here I'm going to be raising my balloons into this air defense. I'm going to be sending in more balloons from the left hand side to eliminate that last uh, wizard tower. The reason why I go for the wizard towers and air defense first is because they kind of like melt the balloons. And I hate when that happens because when I'm doing these types of raids, I get really nervous. Since I'm new to the whole ballooning raid, I don't know exactly how to do it the correct way. So hopefully within the near future, I can get a lot better with this. I can use this to push my way all the way up to champions, which is what I'm mainly hoping for. So as you see here in this raid, I basically sent in my balloons in a line and I sent my minions in directly afterwards. The balloons act as like giants they go for all the defenses and then once all the defenses are eliminated you will send in all the cavalry from behind so in this case it is the minions in terms of you know giants and wizards it would be the wizards instead so this was a really cool raid i did end up getting all the loot from this base or most of it so that was really cool so basically my barbarian king is just going to finish off the last of the elixir storage here and he's just going to make his way up to the storage and get maybe one hit i don't know if he's going to get the last hit is he and he's going to get one hit and that's it because the archer tower then eliminated him but that was a lot of loot and that was absolutely amazing and i love this raid so going into my next raid we did the same thing i did another ballooning raid but this time it was on a base that i was kind of paranoid with so with this base i took my time i ended up using all of my balloons and i ended up using all my rage spells with it so i first started off by raging my balloons from the left hand side and the right hand side i did this mainly to eliminate all the archer towers and that one air defense so right here we're going to be raging about five balloons into the you know right here into this air defense i'm going to go in from the right side too so there they go right into the archer tower and that's really it and with balloons the re the way the balloons work is that when they drop their bombs those bombs will also affect all the towers around it too so once they go to destroy one defense they have a chance of destroying all the other defense and walls around them too depending on how many balloons drop at once so here, basically what I'm going to do is that I'm sending in a whole line of balloons and I'm going to follow it up with every single one of my minions afterwards. The reason why I did that is because I kind of got paranoid with this raid. I was really worried because I noticed I was running low on balloons, so I just decided to mass them all at once and then I raged every single one of my balloons and man just into the core of the base and that was probably actually a really good idea because with that i was able to completely annihilate everything in the core of the base i took a majority of his resources so here i am up to a really high amount of loot and i was absolutely 
I was really glad with this raid because I made all of my dark elixir back and then some on top of getting a lot of elixir and gold on top of that. So this raid in my mind was a complete win. I didn't go for the two star since I avoided the town hall that was outside the base and mainly just went for the resources so I ignored that and I still got the win anyway just by eliminating 50% of the base which is the one star raid. So guys I hope you enjoyed this episode in my Road to Max Town Hall 9 series. If you'd like to see more episodes please let me know in the comment section down below and as always guys peace out keep on clashing and don't forget to follow me on twitter at mmocause